Hey, sugar. <laughs> Hi, boo. Okay, so I'm um as I wanted to start a couple minutes early because I am yes add to stream yes baby yes all right um okay guess um where's my okay hold on don't worry, I'm figuring this out. So chill back for a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh man. Hold on, I'm here. Don't worry, I'm here. Hey, y'all, it's it's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live. We live, okay. Now I'm trying to figure out how to put my um face back up there because I messed up my layout. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, come on. I, and I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing in a minute. So I want my camera to. Yes, so I've got um, camera two. I need to bring it on. Add it. Um, okay, that's my pot. So one screen, one of my devices is on the pot, and then I'm gonna have one, which is what I'm trying to do now. So I lost my um, my avatar. Okay. All right. Mm. Technology is something, ain't it, honey? Cha. Okay, two. Okay, so there we go. Okay, two, done. So what I gotta get my picture back now. Where's my display? Lord, don't give old people nothing, y'all. Let's see. And I, the reason I'm doing this now is because I don't know how to test it. So it's like, y'all had to be my test. So we testing live. All right. Go back to my, my, my live shot, though. Guest. Okay, why is my camera off? I don't want my camera off. That's why. Here we go. Camera. Hey. Hey, boo. Hey, you. All I had to do was click a dang on button. Hey, sugar. Welcome to Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen Live. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're about three minutes past because I was doodling with that thing. But we're here now. Oh, my gosh. So my guest tonight is my pot. Y'all see my setup? Yeah. So I was trying to figure out, I'm like, okay, if I'm cooking something, how can I get an overhead shot? So I've been practic practicing um, with some methods, you know, and seeing how other people do it so that I could do it too. Yes. Hey, boo, hey, come on in and share, like, um, and share, share some more. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. We are eating good in the hood again tonight. Now, I know, okay, because I told you, uh, well, rather, I showed you 
uh, in the promo what I was going to be doing tonight. And, you know, you were probably looking like, what, what the heck? What, what is this thing? And furthermore, what is a geoduck? Okay. Well, first of all, it's not geoduck. All right. I know. Ooh, I feel so weird. Um, so it's, it's gooey duck. It's gooey duck. It's spelled G-E-O duck but it's pronounced gooey duck. And let me tell you, I have been wanting to cook gooey, <laughs> gooey duck. I know. So this is, a, it kind of looks like an elephant's trunk. See? Yeah. Or, or, mm -hmm. or, okay. So there's that, <laughs> but it's a clam. It is a clam. And the way, um, so I saw Emmy Maid do it. I don't know if you've ever watched any of Emmy Maid's videos. I love Emmy Maid. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, and she made gooey duck on the show. And I was like, okay, I got to try and do this. And will I like it? Because I love just about all manner of seafood. So I'm like, why not? So when she got her, she ordered it from a place and it was about $50 to get it, ship it and all of that. Well, I went to my Asian market in East Charlotte and they have gooey duck there all the time, all the time. You don't have to put in a special order. They don't have to fly it in. Like it is right there chilling literally chilling on blocks of cubes now when he bagged it up for me when uncle bagged it up um he put the gooey duck in one bag and then put a bag of ice in another whenever because it's a clam so when you have clams or you're taking clams home and you still want that fresh taste um and by all means you don't want that clam opening up on you before it's you're ready to cook it but um just look at that. Mm, look at that. Oh my God. It feels so weird. Okay, so let's get started. This is gooey duck. I'm going to um, give this a good rinse. It's very sandy. I know. Gooey duck is, I thought it was something that it was so ex exotic that, um, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to afford it. I have to go to some fancy market out of town. No, 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 no. And I hope it's good. Uh, <laughs> when she ate it, it was so good. So I'm like, I bet it's good. I bet that thing tastes like lots to me. Okay, so here we go. So, so in your gooey duck, you've got this huge shell, all right? And just like any clam or any mollusk, now we're going to save this, this shell, okay? So I'm just going to put that to the side. And look at this. You can't tell me. Look, like that's, but we're going to strip all of this away because that, that's, that's how she did it. Just strip all of it away. All I'm doing, though, is still getting more of this sand out. You know what this would, I just thought about this. Maybe, oh, I was saying before I go to that, before I go to that. So I thought that, you know, maybe I won't be able to afford gooey duck. Now you see this part right here, right? Okay, go ahead and pull that off. All right. Let's set that aside, okay? I don't, I don't think that's edible. I don't know, maybe. Maybe, but I'm not going to, I won't test the theory tonight. So let's give this a run through. It is very meaty. Um, it supposedly has such a nice, fresh taste that you could practically eat it raw. So we're going to have it almost like um, a sashimi. Like if you if you've done a sushi or something like that, and you have a piece of raw fish, then that's we're gonna blanch it a little bit. 
but for the most part, we're going to, okay, I think I'm going to cut, so, okay, so yes, it does have a skin, okay, it has a skin, here you go right here, that's it, see that, right, very tough, we're not going to eat that, just peel it off, okay, and now watch, this is how easy she made it look in one, hey, ah, and there you go okay so now you've got the gooey duck that you're going to eat okay but we're still going to clean it up some more so clean 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 um now it's got a little bit of a tip here um it really looks like a snout so if you look at the tip look there you go focus focus see that see the little openings it looks almost like a breathing apparatus for for the animal itself i don't know i'm just saying it looks like it because of the and it might go all the way through i'm thinking because it's so tubular and it's hollow on the inside okay all right so pull all that away Oh, uh, you could do sushi with this. You could do uh, clam stew. You could do like a clam chowder with this. You could do linguine and clam, um, clam family. So you could you could chop this up and and put it in a nice cooked dish. All right, but for tonight we're gonna eat it kind of raw. So we've got our cleaned, skinned gooey duck uh it is not attractive i will tell you that it's not attractive at all <laughs> okay but i think that's gonna be a nice piece of meat all right so i'm gonna um hold on let me put this over here then i was i thought i would have to um blanch that i am gonna blanch it a little bit still but I thought I would have to blanch it while it was in the shell because I thought maybe the skin would be too hard to pull off. But it was very easy to come off. Very easy. So um, we're going to blanch this for about 30 seconds, no more. And then when I pull it out, then I'll slice it real, real thin and I'll show you how I'm going to eat it tonight. All right. Gooey duck. Camera two. You ready, boo? Hey, now. If you're just coming on, thank you. Share the show. Mm, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Hold on. Let me go back. Comments. Comments. Hey, Belinda. Hey, sister. Hey, mom and dad. <laughs> hey, Calvin. Oh, my gosh. The cousins are here. You guys, thank you so much for checking. And uh, I know it's a weird recipe tonight. But it's something that I have been wanting to try for a long time. It's gooey duck. It looks like G-O duck, but it's gooey duck. And it's a clam. It's a clam recipe. Um, but we're going to slice it up right now. I'm going to put it in our pot here um, of some salted water. I'll add just a little bit more salt because that's all we're going to add to this liquid. Okay? So here we go for one, two, three, four, five. Hey, boo. <laughs> All right, and here I've got, I'm gonna pull you a little bit closer, okay? Just a little bit. Oh, I'm not able to unplug this now. I've got a low battery situation going on, so I didn't want to be too far away from the from the party. Hey, come on, come on back here. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, and we're ready to take it out just that fast. Ooh. Uh. Okay. All right. And I should have some really cold water somewhere. I forgot that. Let me douse it in some cold water. And to really get that cold, I'm going to dump some ice in it. All right.
All right, so you got your clam in some really, really cold water now. Just give that a shimmy and let's pull that out. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hey. Okay. All right, so I just uh, rinse it off. Didn't do anything fancy to it or anything. Um, I think what I will do, first of all, take that uh, same bowl. We're going to use that to mix a few ingredients, okay? All right, so this water is done. And now, boo. there for a reason hey, hey, hey. boom <laughs> honey we got a studio situation up in here you see that overhead camera action you see it oh my goodness y'all tell people we stepping our game up here sugar pearls now come on come on honey <laughs> The website is sugarpearlsonline.com, YouTube is Sugar Pearls, and Instagram is sugarpearls underscore online. How you doing, baby? Okay, um, I'm going to slice this up, and I'm going to just let it rest for a second. And while it's resting, let me go ahead and say this, okay? Um, the truth is often very inconvenient, all right? Almost every time, like, the truth comes at the worst time ever. You know, um, Andrew Cuomo. Oh, how sad. How sad. Oh, person after person after person kind of give up the goals. That, that is just mm, such a tragedy for every, mm, all those women. Oh, anyway. So that's one, uh, when you have to confront truths. Uh, so that's one, just mm, know when it's time to exit stage left. Okay, next, um, England. Oh my goodness, did anybody, did any of y'all see Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah? I did not. It's supposed to be on tonight at eight o'clock, I think. Right. Yeah. So I might be able to see a little bit of it tonight. But honey, what? You having a baby. The heir to the throne one day, possibly. And 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 your people worrying about how how deep that melanin gonna be? Oh goodness. And then for the for them to act like, oh, that doesn't exist here in England. Yeah, it does. Have y'all seen? Have you seen Small Acts? It's on Amazon. If you got Prime, it's on Amazon. But when it first came out, I watched it. Small Acts is like a series of movies, mini movies. And I first watched it because um Letitia Wright was in it. Letitia, my little science baby from the land of Wakanda. Yes, her. Um, so I was like, oh yeah, I gotta watch this. I love her. So watched it and every episode that plays or every movie that played in the series has to do with the, the corrupt nature of white, English police harassing and killing, harming black and brown folks there in London and around London at the time. So it really kind of sh shone a light on all of this stuff, you know, that was going on. And okay, it's rested. It's kind of cool again. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just start to make really thin slices okay so first i'm gonna cut this part off okay 
I'm gonna start to cut this off because I really want this tube. All right, so I'm gonna cut this tube into some thin slice and this, and then we'll season up and everything. But yeah, I think for for them to claim uh, ignorance, you know, by putting out those weak statements um, about you know racism and the fact that you know almost like it doesn't exist, it's always existed there, and um, that watch the movie, but you you gotta watch it like like binge watch it, you know, so you can just see it straight through and it kind of builds. So from the 50s and 60s, like that was a different time, but still the same problem, right? They were confronted always with racist policing um, in and around England. And it goes like every eight or 10 years or so, these different movies, but it's so good. So I wish that you would um, check it out because it was, it is powerful. It's powerful. Um, but yeah, in this day and age, I really, you, yeah, you, you can't say you're ignorant about stuff because it's, it's just so much information out there. And, you know, if you want it, if you want it, but. I, I just thought that, that um, like I said, I haven't seen the interview, but that comeback statement was just from, from uh, the crown was so weird. It was just so weird. And now everybody all of a sudden blaming Megan. I'm just making some, oh my God. Oh my God. That is so sweet. I just had like, oh my goodness, that sweetness between my teeth. Oh, oh, that's going to be good when we're done. Okay, so we're just slicing. Just keep slicing, honey. Keep slicing little, little rings. Um, some people just kind of split it open. I've also seen in other videos where they split it open and all that. But like I said, I don't think I'm gonna that part looks kind of grisly to me so I don't want it uh I don't think anyway maybe I'll use it for some stock or something or like I said when I make a clam sauce um but honey yeah so what I don't understand is <laughs> all the hate that was coming from Megan after that interview like Harriet wasn't there saying, yeah, like that happened. I I couldn't understand that. And it was like, oh my God, she's being difficult and you know, her personality. I don't know why I'm trying to do the accent job. I'll never get it. No one can deal with her. And you know, Piers Morgan walked off his show as he should, because he's a jerk. Oh, man. But yeah, I I don't understand that. And and I could quickly say, oh, it's probably racism. Like, if she makes any complaint, it just looks like she's a difficult, angry Black woman. And um, <laughs> it's a shame that we should have to think or feel that way um, <laughs> because it actually exists. It's so crazy. So I am splitting it open now just because I want to see what's inside. So when I split it all the way inside this part, that doesn't really look so edible to me. Okay. It's kind of fibrous. It just looks weird. Now this part where I was cutting has a little more meat to it. Um, so I think I'm going to continue cutting that side. And that other part there, the one that's not quite the same color. I'm going to just go ahead and cut it. Oh, so underneath is a really, really white, um, meaty piece of clam. Okay. Okay. So, all right. I'm glad I cut it open because I was able to cut some of that stuff out whatever it is, all right? I don't want that either. Mm. 
Oh my God. That meat was so good and <laughs> firm and sweet. When I've heard people in their gooey duck interviews talking about how sweet the meat is, I never believed that they literally meant that. Like I've tasted sweet, fresh enough seafood, but that right there is otherworldly. I'm gonna leave that piece right there. Okay, now let's take our pieces of clam, put it in our bowl. Oh, here's some more. Just slice it. This is this was the one that was close to the little what looked like a, a nostril. Like I said, it looked see that part? That was the tip, right? Oh, I'm sorry. You can't see. Um okay. So that part right there that was the tip, and I said it looked like a nostril or some breathing apparatus. Well, if you go inside, you can see that it's it's hollowed out. So that's for water and sand and something probably to filter through. Um, I don't know. You know how those mollusks and sea creatures work, honey. Okay. I didn't, I didn't pay very close attention in science. All I'm doing now is tearing up some time and the best way to do that. Now, I could chop, 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 which is great, but I don't want any stems. There you go. Okay. I don't want any stems in this gooey duck, but I'm simply going to take my fingers and just run it down the rib of that time. And when you do that, um, like I said, you don't have that nasty, wiry stem to deal with. Uh, but you also, by kind of dragging your fingernails against it, you release some of the natural oils from it. So now you've got like a natural thyme oil going in your um, since So we don't want to overdo it, but I do, I want, you know, it to be hit with thyme, okay? Now, this right here, I wanted a lime, but the limes weren't on sale. The lemons were, okay? If you've got lime, use lime. I'm going to use just a squeeze of lemon. This meat is so good and so sweet that I don't want to ruin it by throwing a whole bunch of stuff in there, all right? I just want to squeeze a little bit of lemon. I didn't even squeeze all the way down. Look at that, okay? And I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to add any salt. I don't think I need it. Um, uh, some chili oil that I made. Little drop, drizzle. Oh, ah, okay. Little drizzle of that. All right. And something else. There's something else I can put in there? I don't know. Maybe I can... I'm thinking about garlic, but I don't want it to be so much, but I'm going to use, I'm not going to use a lot of it. Okay. So let's just get it cut first. Okay. So when I'm like really struggling and I just want like pieces of garlic in my stuff, I just kind of cheat by cutting it open like that. And then, um, I'll scoot this over so you can see, and then I'll cut it up. Okay. So I just want a few bulbs cause I don't want this garlicky this dish should taste like the beach okay just kind of rough chop release those oils from that garlic and just keep chopping <laughs> yeah nobody can claim um <laughs> We're not racist if you can't acknowledge racism. That's all I'm saying. Like, if you can't even acknowledge it, then that's probably a problem. Probably a problem. So just chop, chop, chopping away. Lord, I'm going to be stuck talking like Jolly O and Blaine all night. Anyway. <laughs> Um, if you watching and not sharing, you selfish, bruh. 
You selfish. Just go and share the video. Can we get 15 shares tonight? Huh? Can we? Can we? Can we? Go ahead and share right now. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. Mm -hmm. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And Instagram, yes, I'm there too, is Sugar Pearls underscore online. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Okay. I want to cut it down because I don't want big pieces of garlic floating in my mouth. Okay. So just a little bit of that. Now, if you want to paste it out, then go ahead and add some salt to that. Um, but I'm not. I'm just going to dump it in there fresh just like. You know, if I were on the beach or something, I'm going to add some basil from my window. Okay. Basil from the window is perfect. And we don't even need to cut it because I got like little babies. They're so tiny. I know. I just need to plant another thing of basil because the ones that are coming back now are like super small. But it's good for what I need it for because all I have to do is like <laughs> legit just tear it and my salad. Now, if you want to add like some red onions or tomatoes, um, cucumbers to this, honey, go ahead. Okay. Ain't nobody mad. Add that and it'll class up the joint. Okay. Um, something else I want to add. What else I got? I got tomatoes, but I don't want tomatoes. And, oh. Oh, this is going to be nice. Okay, so we almost got like a little vinaigrette going. So, oh. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we're going to turn this into something special, honey. This is how we do it every Friday night. Eating good in our hood, balling on the most beautiful budget you can come up with. Um, that's just how we do it. I got that clamshell for a reason. Okay? <laughs> Watch me work. Now, to this mixture... I'm not going to add no more salt or nothing. Remember, I salted the water. It's, the gooey duck is so tender. And it's got the salt from the sea, the salt from the water, and the sweetness on its own also. Only thing I'm going to hit this with is a little bit of tagine. You know, I love this. Honey, that's it. Boom. That's it. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else. Um, If you trying to get fit and fine for the summer you about to get your vaccine honey and you ready to go down to puerto rico and turn up then you want to be eating stuff like this child get the, who, who am i kidding who am i kidding if i go to puerto rico child they're gonna puerto rico gonna get whatever i give them all of this okay all of it look at that isn't that pretty and like I said, you can add your, like, red, if you want to add red pepper. I got red peppers in there, but, honey, this right here is a wrap, okay? What we going to do, though, bring that uh, romaine lettuce over here, though. Oh, it just got rough chop. That's it. Come on, now. Take your clamshell. Put your lettuce on there. You ain't got to fill it up. You ain't even got to fill it up. But honey, let somebody serve me this in COVID. And be like, can we? I'm be like, yeah. <laughs> we sure can. What? What do you want to do? I'm down. Let's go. Let somebody serve me this. It is on and pies up. Okay. Oh, my gosh. And all we're going to do now is take some of that clam meat and put it on top of that. Like, I'm going to move this out the way so you can see what it's doing. Boom. Like, like that, honey. Okay. Okay. So if you need it on a plate to, to prove, to prove my love, 
you need it on a plate. I'm gonna I'm gonna just scoot the rest of that out of the way because it don't even exist in TV world. You put that right there, and you put that gooey duck right there. We are gonna drizzle some of this vinaigrette that then drip down in it, and we just gonna oh. Uh, Shower me with your dress. Look at this, honey. This is gooey duck. The gooey duck cost me $17. I know. I know. But it's gooey duck. Okay? But it's gooey duck. All right. That's, you don't believe me? Just look at that. What? That is a five-star salad right there. And you just saw me make it, boo. All right. Want to see me eat it? <laughs> of course you do. That's why you tune into this foolery. To watch me eat good in the hood. I'm going to leave it there so you can see it. Ooh, we. Oh, this is so sexy, honey. Mm. Mm. That vinaigrette, though. Oh, mm mm. Mm mm. You get right back on there. <laughs> no, no, no. Sashimi. This right here. Yo, this is good, delicious meat. I mean, it's it's tender. It just breaks down right between your teeth. It's perfect. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I got a little bit of bite from the lemon. But it's not overpowering the gooey duck. The gooey duck is still front and center. Mmm. 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 I know. I just had to try it. Mmm. 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 Thank you, Emmy Maid, for inspiring me to make gooey duck. I have a new seafood to love. That is so good. I could do it in a fritter. I could, oh, I could do it so many ways. Mmm. Y'all, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Now, the reason why this is a quick, quick recipe tonight, I'm actually working tonight and tomorrow, so I'm kind of like prepping and going between jobs, okay? But I wanted to bring you something different, still very tasty, delicious. This is the sweetest clam meat I've ever had in my entire 46 years of life. The sweetest, the most tender. And we didn't, we barely seasoned it with anything. Oh, thank y'all for being here. Thank you for sharing the videos. I'm not sure how many we got up to, but I always appreciate you watching. I wish that you would tell others about the show and let them know that every Friday we be eating good in the hood right here on Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live with your girl, Carla Renee. Thanks so much for being here. I can't wait to see you again. I'm going to eat this masterpiece and then I'll make another one from the other clamshell and, you know, zhuzh it up for the pictures. Make sure it's nice and the light is hitting just right, okay? Until next time, boo. Know that I love you.
and I hope you love me back.